Hey there guys, welcome back to another Monster Super League episode, it's your boy Odin and today we're going to be doing another Colossus guide. Today is Monday, therefore the Dark Colossus is going to be up. I am going to show you guys my team and uh, probably uh, cover some mods that you guys can possibly use. Um, of course, you know, it all depends on the type of monsters that you have, but I don't particularly think that the Dark Colossus is too difficult for you guys to do. Um, I generally recommend the crit damage lead, uh, but you can use the attack power lead. Um, another good uh, lead to use is always, uh, as, as usual, is going to be the um, HP lead. Um, but uh, in general, I like to use the crit damage lead because you want to try to kill the boss as quickly as possible. Um, as you guys can see, I am using the new Water Harley Quinn as my leader. I'm also using a Light Wendigo a Fire Shinobi and a Dark Shao Jing in my first team. And then for my second team, I'm using the uh, Fire Yuki, the Draka, the Indra, and the uh, uh, Light Fennec. Uh, Light Fennec is actually really good uh, for this event. Uh, he was around, uh, I want to say about five months ago during the Rebirth table, pool table. Um, but, uh, you know, be on the lookout for him whenever he does come back around. Uh, the Wendigo, I actually managed to get from a 3-star Light and Dark Egg. Um, so, you know, they haven't really had any reverse for the Wendigos yet. But when he does come back around, make sure you grab as many of him as you can. Uh, the reason why I recommend particularly the Light Wendigo is because he does have Courageous Strike on his 3-star skill. And as you guys know, there are not that many Courageous Strikers uh, that are at least... Um, light types in the three star skill so he's actually really good for this event um, and uh, as far as gem setup you know you I put mine I believe on a crit attack attack or let me see crit attack attack exactly um, I'm using a um, life gem set here but uh, you guys can use pretty much anything else it's better actually to use the uh, ruin set but this is all that I had available at the time and I kind of use him in the dark titan as well um, he is a little bit squishy, so he's probably going to attack maybe once and then uh, probably uh, die after that. But that is the reason why I have these other two mods here. Um, as far as gem setups, I definitely recommend crit rate, attack, attack, and all, all your mods. Um, and uh, as long as you have a 100% chance to crit with that crit damage lead, uh, you guys should have no problem you know, doing the boss in either one or two turns. Um, so my fire Yuki here is not that greatest, um, you know, she's still normal evil 3, not super evil or anything, but you guys will see she'll do just fine. I'm actually going to switch out the Draka for the water, um, Balrona. Um, and I think that's about the only change I'm going to make. Well, actually, I'll take out the water Intra. I don't need him. Uh, let's see, who's another mom that I could bring? You know what? I'll bring in my uh, Light Indra. Um, actually, no, I take that back. He's not that uh, special for this event. I'm going to try and see if I bring another Courageous Striker. Uh, you guys can use Hunters, um, Predators, or Courageous Strikers in this event. Um, if you are new to the game and you don't know what a Hunter or a Predator is, it just refers to the uh, skill. Um, that the monster has on a 3 star skill or the 5 star skill and I actually I think I'm going to bring a defense down or should I bring um, yeah I'll bring a defense down okay so where are my Thors at um, you could actually bring a Merlin as well you could pretty much bring any um, courageous striker here I just specifically chose those monsters because they do, uh, you know, they have decent gem sets and they work best for me. Um, should I bring the Lucy? No, let's bring the Thor. Okay. So I have pretty much almost 100% chance to crit on all of these. Um, and uh, you also definitely want to make sure you have some resistance gems on them. Um, if you guys need help with your team composition, just, uh, you know, leave me in a, co a question in the comment section up below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as you can. Or as soon as I can, excuse me. Um, another good monster to bring here is also this uh, light, um, what's his name, the Hollow. Um, he's pretty good for this event as a lead. Um, he doesn't particularly have a great 3 star skill, but if you uh, put him on a attack attack crit rate, or crit damage, excuse me, so attack attack crit damage on a ruin set, he does hit pretty hard uh, for this event. And he does have a pretty good leader skill. Again, he is carrying that uh, crit damage lead. 
increases critical damage of light astromods by 44 percent um so you know you're gonna have to bring light monsters but in general you can do the dark uh titan with almost anybody so without further ado we're just gonna go ahead and get this going all right so here we are guys so the first thing that you want to do is pretty much just nuke the boss so just go ahead and set all your monsters to uh, the Dark Colossus. Um, and now the key thing here to take note is that um, you kind of want to make sure that you're not doing your active skills. Um, I don't say you know you don't, you don't have to, but uh, Courageous Strike, whatever skills you have on your first skill is going to be the one that you're going to want to use effectively. Shinobi, as you guys know, has attack down on his second turn, so not necessarily very... Um, useful or you know does any good amount of damage so here we go and as you guys see I'm pretty much almost done with the Colossus as long as you bring a pretty good mon with uh, you know like I said courageous strike and then uh, maybe a um, hunter's um, skill like 50% crit damage or uh, another monster with predator with like you know a, a damage plus 40% or 40% uh, to damage uh, you should be more than fine so all in all, Colossus is pretty. The Dark Colossus is pretty easy. Took me about a minute and 24 seconds there. Of course, I manualed it, but uh, you can do it, um, you know, with uh, auto as well, depending on how good your gems are. And uh, nothing too crazy difficult. So we'll do it again one more time, and this time I'll slow it down for those of you guys who are new. If you are new, consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. Um, if you guys need any help with any other. Um, Colossus or need some guides go ahead and look up my channel and uh, of course if you um, Are looking for anything in specific just uh, leave me a message in the comment section down below And I forgot to hit next on the uh, intro here, but we'll just disregard that um, And let me know guys like I said if you guys need any um, assistance with your mons uh, Whether it's gem builds or anything like that. I do have a discord So I'll put the link for it down in the section below um, but yeah, if you're new, just go ahead and subscribe if you uh, are looking for more Monster Super League content. I do do summon videos every week um, and, uh, you know, Heroes Festivals, Clan Festivals. Um, and I will be putting up a new guide for new players um, on how to just basically just tips and tricks on how to stay uh, mainly free to play. Um, of course, you know, most of you guys do contribute to the game, so thank you. You guys keep the game running. Um, but, uh, you know, for those of you guys that are in it just for the long run, uh, because the game is basically free, um, you know, go ahead and, uh, leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see some more content and some of those guides that, uh, I'm referring to now. So, there it is, uh, down again pretty quickly. Like I said, all you need is some courageous strikers, some hunters, um, and maybe perhaps, uh, some predators as well, so nothing too crazy. Um, I am going to use the 100 gem uh, redo because I am hunting for those Siegfried um, soul stones. Um, so we'll do it one more time. Um, another good monster to bring here is also the Light Mowgli, which uh, did come around, uh, I believe, two months ago. So that's just something for you guys to take note. You know, just write. Write down any monsters that have predator skill, hunter skill, um, and just, you know, maybe work to getting them to Evo 3 and then, uh, you know, bringing them in here. But like I said, you can use the Fire Shinobi, uh, you can use the Water Indra, you can use the Water Valrona. There's actually plenty amount of teams that you guys can bring in here. So once again, pretty much it's just a nuke. Um, just 100% chance to crit, crit damage lead, and courageous strikers, predators, or hunters. As you guys can see, it's taken me about three turns or so to basically down the boss, but it is uh, nothing too crazy. As you guys can see, some of my monsters do live, so there we go, three turns. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my um, guide here. Um, hopefully I was able to help some of you guys um, in defeating this event. All right, there we go. Got one soul stone. Um, but again, if you guys need some help, you know, with your team compositions or anything like that, just uh, go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below.
and we're going to do it one more time. Again, practice makes perfect, guys, so don't be upset if you can't down the boss, you know, in your first couple of attempts. I know that it is pretty expensive as far as energy goes. You know, 25 energy is a lot. You can use that towards uh, other places like golems or story mode. Um, but uh, the Colossus is actually really great. If you manage to get a couple soul stones a week, you know, you can probably get yourself a dark Siegfried in about like, you know, three to five months, uh, depending on how good your luck is. I definitely recommend you guys do the Colossus every day um, because the Light Siegfried is probably one of the best courageous strikers in the game. And as you guys know, he's kind of like the uh, go to free type. Um, there aren't that many courageous strikers, but if you do get one, he can be extremely helpful. And once again, guys, no problem there. Just uh, use that uh, crit damage lead, courageous strikers or hunters or predators, and you shouldn't have any problems beating down this boss. Let's see, gem of the healer. Oop. All right, well, that's it for me, guys. I will uh, hopefully be catching up on some uh, Astromon reviews here in the next couple of weeks, but feel free to... Um, uh, put in any requests for any monsters you would like me to review or uh, again if you need any guides or any uh, help figuring anything out in the game um, and that's it i'll catch you guys on the next video